haven. A haven for what? Vermin? Humans, mistress. Adorable. Build a house of sticks during the end of the world. Where exactly do we go from here, Watcher? I... I know not but what the Council commands, mistress. The quest for the Seven begins here. Envy. Mine! Humans! Haven! Everything here! <laughs> Mine! Move on, horsemen, or ye be mine too! <laughs> I'm on a mission. <laughs> Protecting humans? Humans think creation favors them. They are apes, crawling through dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Quite the grudge you're carrying. Nothing left. They will be my playthings until they break. <laughs> you cannot stop me! <laughs> oh, I don't want to. Humanity is tragically overrated. I am not here for them. I'm all yours. No! <laughs> Pretty. Come and get it. Supposed to catch envy. I did. Watch. This talisman. It's a vessel. Envy used it to hold energies from the rest of the Seven. It will make a fitting prison for the others once their physical forms have been broken. If I may, there is a... Well, a sort of hum emanating from the talisman. That glow... Will indicate when one of the Seven is nearby. I know. So wise. You are all that the Council promised, Mistress. I'm beginning to enjoy the sound of your voice, Watcher. <sighs> Music to my ears. Feel the burn of heaven! <laughs> ah, he does not dismembering angels. We all need a hobby. I hope you've left something for me. I'll try not to enjoy this too much. <laughs> Final wait. Oh, that is unfortunate.
Something is wrong with the world. Delicate order is imbalanced. There wasn't much that the humans got right. But they did no art. What? Frankly, I think it's one of the reasons that the angels were so jealous of them. Have you ever seen one of those birds paint? You're talking about art. Now, here. It's a museum. Well, certainly, we have our mission. I'm just what? saying. <laughs> Some of you have no appreciation for the finer things in life. Avarice. Fury. <laughs> Welcome to my Hall of Treasure. <sighs> Unfortunately, you forgot to pay the entrance fee. Your life. Take it if you dare, wretch! Enjoy your collection, Avarice. For one! Final! But that art is worth one sinner's life. Who needs a museum when you can carry a collection in this? Ah, oh, Philistine. You will be judged in combat like all the others. Darling, please. You will look like I'll be fighting anything or anyone anytime soon. You have no choice. There's always a choice, darling. I choose not to choose. Too much of a bother. I laugh at you, but it's too much effort. Don't take offense, you'll play your part well in our wee morality play. But really, why bother? It's the apocalypse. Whoa, I'm completely over it. My sole concern is comfort. That sounds familiar. Mouth. And as you can see, I have my many minions for that. <laughs> It's all they live for. You should try it. Uh, I've bought you a few slaves if you'll just relax. I shall once you and your kin lie dead. I only hope the rest put up more of a fight than you. <laughs> Let them stand or fall. It matters not to me. You understand? Don't you, horseman? The futility of it. Why not join me? Take a load off and enjoy the nothingness. I bet you'd take to it quite easily. Ah. 
Would you abandon your mission? No. <laughs> Is that so? The Great Fury would not allow herself to fall prey to such a creature. Are you truly up to the task? <laughs> Congratulations! You must be so fulfilled! What change do you think killing me will enact today on this sad crusade? <laughs> Are you begging? Muster up a little dignity. Sweetheart, I let slaves wipe my ass with the wings of angels while I enjoy a morning tea. Dignity is a myth, like the balance you fight for. Oh, aren't you exhausted? Yes, but even the most grueling fight is less tiring than taking no action at all. Most exercise he's had in a millennium. <laughs> what is it? Something about this place. Oh, uh, you wish to repent for your sins. I will not waver to cleave the Watcher head from your Watcher body. Less sarcasm. Noted, mistress. Shield your eyes! Too bright. What is that? Well, well, well. Imagine my disappointment. To think that this is the best the Council has to offer. Of the fabled Four Horsemen, they send the lowliest, the most pathetic of all. Pride, charming as ever. I've come for you. <laughs> oh, really? As if you'd know what to do with me if you could have me. Please, spare me. Are you not one of the great seven deadly? Fight me instead of cowering, you pompous, pathetic Your excuse! Your taunts are a waste of breath, horsemen. No more an annoyance than the buzzing of a fly. Beneath my notice, like everything else in the Creator's grand experiment, even the greatest treasures of heaven and hell pale beneath my light. Scurry back to the hole you were born from. Perhaps when I am the only sin left on this sad little rock, you will be worthy of an audience with me. When I'm done, there will be no sins left standing. So you say. Considering your current state, I find it highly unlikely that we'll ever meet again. But by the rare chance, you do earn my favor. Find me in Ares. Though I highly doubt a creature such as yourself would be welcome in a place so refined. I encourage you to surprise me, horsemen. Until that time... What an insufferable creature. Can you guess what I lust after? In this broken world, what is left to want? Power. Hmm. I always thought you were the smart one. Pity. To what do I owe this distinct pleasure? After all, to be visited by a fabled horseman. 
I have but one purpose here. Uh, must we engage in violence? You already have my respect. I have no interest in your respect, just your head! Come now, Fury. I am no barbarian like the others. No, we need not meet as enemies a second time. Tell it to the Charred Council. <laughs> they aren't here. So instead, I tell you, Queen of the Horsemen, powerful, armed with the flame hollow, a crossblade, your fabled wit. I am above your distractions, lust. Really, the truth is often distracting when one lives a lie. You speak as though we are natural enemies. Why must this be so? I know my role in the universe. I wonder if you've ever stopped to question yours. You are a horseman. Mm. But why did you make that choice? And if so, was there some reasoning behind it? Shut up and fight! You don't even know why you fight, do you? Hmm. Do you fight for your brothers? Oh, of course not. Your antagonism towards them is well known. Do you seek to achieve some sort of balance? Oh, you never believed in the greater good until it suited you. No, no, no. What I see in your actions is a lust all your own. A lust for power and privilege and protection from the Nephilim's inevitable fall. Ultimately, that makes us allies, doesn't it? Stand down, Fury. Death, what are you, all of you, doing here? Are we not four horsemen united? We are here to confirm that the mission is complete. Mm. The mission? The other sins have been destroyed by my hand. Death worked to free war and clear his name. More importantly, we have exposed a great conspiracy. What conspiracy? Heaven and Hell working in secret consort. To bring about the apocalypse earlier than anyone would wish for. The Charred Council has dispatched us. Together. To wreak havoc on both sides. Balance will be restored. The wicked will be punished. You mean... all of this? We are to unseat the rulers of both sides. And in honor of your unwavering loyalty to the cause, the Council has decreed that you will lead the Horsemen. You, Fury, will usher in a new age on Earth. Of course. Finally, everything makes some sort of divine sense. It does? Mistress, is this not everything you wanted? Finally come to you. Set aside the past, sister. Today, we live in service to you. I will be done. This is not real! Uh, what? Oh, it was worth a shot. You think you know me so well? Is it not what you want most? Hmm? The power to lead in the manner you see fit. What was an illusion could soon be reality. If you set aside the wants of others and focus on yourself, ultimately, it is your choice to make. So choose. You should not have made them near! Who gave you 
you the power to raise the dead. <laughs> the one constant in the universe. Those who possess the most power inevitably crave more. Lust is everlasting. As for who? Know this. I was merely a pawn. A feeling you know all too well. Fury. The angels who killed your steed. Pawns as well. Then who? Tell me! <laughs> the players in that game will reveal themselves in time. What if I reveal something even more valuable? Hmm? Spare me, and I'll give up the location of my fellow sin. Envy. And why would you do that? What reason would I have to protect that sniveling coward? Hmm? She has never experienced frontline combat. She has never experienced the horrors of war. She is the most pathetic of us. Get me to the edge of Haven, and what you want will be yours. An attractive offer. Huh? But I'm tired of your kind underestimating my intelligence. I'll find the rest of the sins by myself. At your call, you were just an endless void that could never be filled. How disappointing. Finish it! I am ready. <sighs> I think not. Mistress! Lust's call to power is intoxicating. Even more so when one is fueled by grief. Usil's transgression can be forgiven. Once. I have a better understanding of what's happened to the Earth and what's at stake because of it. You're of no use to me, dead. If we are to survive, all of us, alliances must be made. An alliance? With him? I... don't know what to say. Say that you'll return the favor. I may soon need it. My word may hold no weight, but my life is yours, Fury. If I learn of any plotting against you, I will relay the information. Did I just witness mercy? Shown to a filthy angel. Would just as soon have your head on a pike. Are you or are you not a watcher? Because you should know better. This quest we're on is about balance in the world and within me, it seems. Lust showed me what I could become. It is not what I want to be. And what do you want to be? <sighs> I think that's what I'm here to find out. Desire, horseman. 
means we'll be running headlong towards it. <laughs> You're learning! Thanks for the assistance. Watching, not speaking. Huh. We're all learning something on this little sojourn.
confidence suits you. When earned, yes. You are proud. See, I never understood why pride was considered a deadly sin. The power you feel now after having completed an arduous task. Isn't it empowering? You've shown great promise. Done exceptional work. Don't you deserve something for it? Perhaps. But not from you. Before you make a tragic mistake, I'd like to make you an offer. You've seen the world. You've seen the state it's in. You're smart enough to know that someone somewhere has lied to you. There is no plan. There is no balance. It's all lies. But imagine if it were true. Imagine if you and I truly set out to give the world a direction, order. Isn't that your true purpose? We could be the force for balance the world deserves. We could be greatness. At one time, that speech might have worked on me. But that was when I did not understand how ugly pride could be. Thank you for your generous offer, but if this world is to be fixed, neither of us will be the ones to do it. Did you speak to the Lord of the Hollows? He knew. He too was proud. Tell me about the Council. Your so-called masters are infected with pride. They serve no balance. Who do you think released the Seven from our prison? What purpose do we serve without humanity to corrupt? Tell me my words do not ring true. You cannot deny the pride that still resides within you, can you? Enough empty flattery! Tell me everything. <laughs> you already know everything, mistress. The great irony here is that for once, your enemy is right. You should feel pride, but you do not. You only feel fear. Fear that you came this close to greatness, only to fall! See, your counsel betrays you. Watcher! Always so pretty. I used to be so jealous of you, sister. Envy! No! Charred Council set you up. 
They want us all dead. All seven sins and the horsemen. No! Oh, but I, I knew better. <laughs> Jealousy, man. Jealousy. I took the form of a trusted servant, and you, horseman, became both my sword and my shield. With the other sins out of the way, I will destroy the Charred Council once and for all! Only then will the Earth finally be mine! <laughs> Pride goeth before the fall! <laughs> A bit on the nose, but the message is clear! Judging that you've forgotten how to fight! You dare attack this holy sanctum! I do! I dare! Because no one else ever has! And that makes this even sweet! You haughty sons of whores have had this coming for eons, and you have no one but yourselves to thank for it! Your lust for power will be your undoing envy! Well, isn't that the pot calling a kettle black? When I'm done here and you're nothing left but pebbles, I will simply wait out the apocalypse and destroy whatever weakened generals remain. The Earth will be mine! It's over, Envy! You have failed! Kill her, horsemen! We command! Oh, shut up! You command nothing but my scorn, and you will know my fury soon enough! That's for me, Trev! Yield or die, Envy! <laughs>
would seem you have finally accomplished your task, Fury. Perhaps you should be rewarded. But perhaps not! Envy may have caught us unawares, but we have more than enough power to deal with an insect like you. You have overstepped your bounds, horseman. You shall be punished, along with your brothers, like the impudent child you are! No! I will not die like that! 